Okay, now we can start. Sorry. Alright, anyway. Oh, that's an alternate spelling? Huh. The more you know. But anyway, hi again everyone, I am Timur15 and today we are going to talk about numbers in the English language. And we're going to learn how to count from 0 to 100. So that's going to be fun. And again, I have a bit of a cold, so I'm sorry if I sound stuffy or congested or whatever. But anyway, let's get started. So first, we should talk about numbers, the numbers 0 to 10. 0 to 10. Or or in written form, like fully written form, 0 to 10. Oh, friends. <laughs> Very meme-worthy material. Okay, so let's start with uh, the first number. 0. 0. Zero, or in Spanish, cero, or in German, null, but in English, it's zero, zero. Say it again in Spanish, cero. <laughs> I'm just referencing other language, I'm just mentioning other languages as a reference, but yeah, like, in English, we say zero. Zero. You can't say O oh, unless, well, I mean, in some cases you can, but it, it's context dependent. It depends on the context. But um, it'd be hard for me to provide an actual rule. But yeah. Zero. So let's use this in a sentence. How many girlfriends does Chi Man have? How many girlfriends does Chi Man have? Zero. Zero. Hey, who put that there? No, I'm totally kidding. But anyway. You went from hero to zero. Ha! <laughs> there are zero people who asked. <laughs> I am that's that sounds really sassy. Oh my god. <laughs> you have friends? Zero. <laughs> I feel bad for Chi Man. Feels bad, man. But, yes, zero. Zero. Zilch can also mean zero. And in some cases you can say not instead of zero, as in N-O-U-G-H-T, not. Like in physics, you will hear that a lot. V not, as in uh, the initial velocity. But, yeah. Anyway. Zero is our number. Zero. The girls in your area aren't poggers enough, are they? I guess not, Neon. I guess not. I'm sad. I have zero dollars. That's another good example. Okay. Anyway, let's go on to the next number. One. 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 
No, not one. That's a completely different word. W-O-N is a completely different word. I'm talking about one as in the number. One. One. Let's use it. Oh my god, stupid OneDrive. Okay, let's use one in the sentence. I have one dog. I have one dog. One. How many dogs do you have? How many dogs do you have? I have one dog. I have one dog. One father. I would certainly hope so. <laughs> but anyway. Yes, in terms of pronunciation, one and one are the same. Yes, that's correct. They both, they're both pronounced the same, but they are spelled differently. And we call these homophones. Homophones. Words that sound the same, but are spelled differently. Could you also mention expressions with numbers? For example, I'm on cloud nine. Yeah, I can. I could, yeah. <laughs> no hobo. <laughs> We're not having a discussion here now. Yeah, try to stay on topic. Like, th that stuff doesn't really belong here. There is a place on the server where you can talk about things like that, but that this isn't the place for it. Yeah, exactly. Discussion and politics. You can take that discussion over there. Yes, thank you, Tech Zero. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next number. Two. 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 Now, remember, the word two is not the same as the words. That's the other two words. I'm trying to, I'm going to put a not equal sign here. Two, T-W-O, is different from two, T-O-O, -O, and two, T-O. Those are all three, those are all completely different words. Three different words. Two, the number with a W, two. That's different. The other two are completely different words, even though they sound the same. And native speakers mix them up all the time because they don't write much. Anyway. I would, but I don't want to make this too complicated. Oh, I could briefly mention the uses of each of those words. I can count to two, too. I love this. I love this. I love this so much. Are you American or British? Take a guess. I mean, my username kind of gives it away, but... Take a guess. British. I am not British. Come on. It's like he's Indian. It's like, no, I'm not. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but anyway, let's use this word in a sentence. I have two board games. How many board games? do you have sixty-nine oh dear <laughs> how many board games do you have how many board games do you have I have two board games I have two board games Two. Yes, two. And in other languages, it would be dos in Spanish, de in French, and zwei 
in German. Or Deutsch, if you want to be fancy. Does chess count as a board game? I have no idea. I, can't, I don't even know if that if checkers counts either. But anyway. <clears throat> oh, they do count? Okay. See, when I think board game, I think something like, say, Monopoly or Candyland. Like, I, I honestly hadn't considered chess or checkers as board games. Though, yeah, now that I think about it, they are board games. But anyway, I have zero board games. I'm poor. My sympathies. Yeah, I'm recording this lesson. <clears throat> I record these. I'm from Texas. Someone asked me where I was from in the USA. I'm from Texas. Anyway, um, I don't have a stereotypical Southern accent though, sorry. Um, let's go to number three. 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 Flash, you are so naughty. You are very, very naughty. Three. I have three bullets left in this revolver. I used that example because someone mentioned Russian roulette, so. <laughs> Murica, basically. Murica. I'm from Murica. I have three bullets left in this revolver. Now you have two. <laughs> and for those of you who don't know what a revolver is, which would probably be very little, very few of you, a revolver is a special type of gun. But, I mean, bullets would imply that, so whatever. Anyway. Yeah, that's, yeah, exactly, that's what a revolver is. And it has a cylindrical chamber. With six bullets, I believe. But yeah, that's three. I have three bullets in this gun. I have three bullets left in this gun. I like when people spin the chamber. I know, it's so satisfying, I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe there's a science for it. It's just so satisfying spinning that thing. I've never handled one before, but like it's just so satisfying. I have three fathers, and they're all dead. The end. But anyway, um, what? <laughs> No, but I'm just playing. Anyway, let's see. But yeah, that's the number three. Now let's talk about four. 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 No, not four and not four. Four. Three different words. Not four as in F-O-R-E and not four as in F-O-R. No, those are different words. Four. Four. In Brazil, we lose trees every one second. Well, I think you mean every second, but I get it. Mentira! <laughs> Lies, cap! It's the R silent. In British English, it's sort of silent? Sort of? Well, not really silent, it's just pronounced differently. In British English, they would say full. Full. I'm, I'm sorry, if, I'm trying to approximate. Like, I'm trying to sound... Uh, I'm trying to uh, pronounce the word as the way a British English speaker would pronounce it. But they don't really pronounce their R's in the same way that we American English speakers do. We say for 
they say four. Four. How old am I? 27. I turned 28 later this year. Oh, unmute me and I could say, okay. I think you just have to be invited to the stage. Damn, how am I supposed to find, oh, oh my God. Oh, there you are. You, you, you said you wanted to pronounce it? Here, let me, what the heck? Oh my God, okay, there. No, that's not, dang it, okay. There. Hello. Hi. So, four in British would just be four. Oh, okay. So, say how you say it in American. Four. Mine would be four. Okay. So, okay, so thank you. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Should I mute? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay. I can always speak up whenever you need. Okay, thank you. Good. Nice to have um, a live reference. Because I am terrible at imitating a British English accent. Or just any, almost any accent, really. I can't even imitate a Nigerian English accent, despite living amongst people who speak Nigerian English. My sister can do it, though, and it's really funny. But anyway. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, four. So let's use four in an example. I have four cats. I have four cats. How many cats do you have? How many cats do you have? I have four cats. I have four cats. If I can find, oh, there you are. Okay. Wait. Hello. Hi. So, uh, I saw someone in the class's chat ask how to pronounce uh, the longest word in English. Uh, so. Oh, let me scroll up. Oh, this one, yeah. Pneumono, I'm not going to pronounce the rest of that, so go ahead. <laughs> Pneumona ultra microscopic silico volcanoconiosis. <laughs> it's a beautiful word. It is. I must say. It's a lung disease from inhaling too much ash. Really. Makes sense. Yeah, to be fair, English. Yeah. Some words are just stupid. Have you seen that Welsh word for town name? I'll quickly paste it into chat. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh... All right, so, oh, what the heck? What on earth is that? I don't know how to say it, it was a Welsh town name. Yeah, it's a town in uh, northwest Wales, I think. Yeah, it's Clan, I know it's Clan Fair, Pwyl, Gwyn, Glyl, Gogli, I don't know. It's a North Wales, yeah. Oh my god. I, I don't, I'm not even gonna try that. No. <laughs> Scratch. Scratch. Okay. Let me just go ahead and um, move on to the next number. Okay. Five.
five. Five. And here's an example. I have five classes today. I have five classes today. Oh, whoops. I responded to the wrong person. My bad. Let me take that out. <laughs> uh, let's see, where is, where's the, okay, um, oh, oh, anyway, <clears throat> so now let's move on to six, 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 six. No, not sex. That's a different word. Very different word. Six. Like they're pronounced differently. Like six. That's with a short I sound. Sex is with a short E sound. Six is this. Sex is this. Two different words. Okay, um, but yes, yeah, six. <clears throat> and my the classes chat is frozen on my end. Why? Oh my god, I hope my internet's not. What is wrong with this thing? Hang on. And my Discord messed up. <laughs> I'm gonna pause the recording. A guitar has six strings, so that's the thing. Uh, do you want to take over now? Uh, yeah, yes. But sure. thank you for doing that. No problem. Yeah, sorry about that, everyone. My internet disconnected at the worst possible time. Okay. Um, welcome back. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, my internet is stupid. I'm not going to lie. It is very stupid. It's Spectrum. But it sucks. It just sucks. I liked Ryzen more. I'm sorry. Just I don't like Spectrum. <clears throat> Like it, it's like it just it just disconnects at random times and it's really frustrating when I'm trying to have a lesson when I'm trying to stream a video game it's it's annoying usually it do, it disconnects in the evening I don't I don't know why maybe it's maybe that's when traffic starts being bad but I've already contacted them and the company and like there should be fewer ish, issues it was even worse before I contacted them, believe it or not. But anyway, um, let's see. Okay, let's talk about seven, yes. Seven, 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 seven. How many days are in a week? How many days are in a week? Seven, of course. Seven. Seven. How many days are in a week? Seven. Seven. Okay, now let's talk about acht. I mean eight. Sorry. <laughs> Eight. Eight. 
eight. No, not eight. That's a different word. Not eight. Eight. As in eight. Wait, mate. Eight is great. <laughs> great bait, mate. Rate eight out of eight. <laughs> ich liebe Deutschland! Because memes. But anyway. You nasty. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. Anyway. Um, but yeah, eight. Eight. Clickbait, eight. Why was six afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine! <laughs> no, no, don't, don't ever, don't ever say that joke around me. I will hate you forever. But anyway. Um, teacher is weird. Yeah, well, that's my thing. <laughs> but yeah, eight. That's allowed, right? <laughs> Weirdness is allowed. Weirdness is allowed. <laughs> I was possessed by an Arab demon. I would love to I would love to master an accent like that. That'd be really funny. Foreign accents are always so funny. That way I could just start speaking in tongues out of nowhere. <laughs> and freak everyone out. No, I'm kidding. But anyway, that is eight. An octopus has eight feet, yes. An octopus has eight feet. Don't worry, once we reach ten, then we're going to start doing a bit of skipping. Eight legs. Oh, right, legs. Well, both, technically, both legs. Well, I don't think it has feet in the sense, just legs, because, you know, it has suction cups. But, whatever. Tentacles. Tentacles, that's the right word. Tentacles. Tentacles. Squitter tentacles. Underrated character. In the earlier seasons, anyway. Of Spongebob. Anyway. You get money from this lesson? No. No. Every single lesson on the server is free. This is an entirely free server. Like you can you can learn English here at no cost. Why? Because we all love you and we want you to learn English. Oh. No, I don't get paid at all for any of this. I don't. But anyway. Oh yeah, that's right. Magical is learning Turkish. Um, he also knows Persian Arabic, I think. I think he mentioned that. I wonder how I would sound in Arabic or Persian. Anyway. Um... What was I? Oh, yeah, right. Nine. Nine. Which sounds similar to the word nine in German, which would be neun. Neun. But anyway. Nine. And it sounds exactly like the word nine in German, which means no. It's like, no. But nine, nine, number nine in English. Oh, you've learned French too? Oh, okay. Nine, nine. Yeah, if we ever do get any money, it goes to, uh, it goes to, um, it goes to, <clears throat> uh, yeah, subscriptions and web hosting. It doesn't really go towards us. Do I know Alan G? Yeah, I do, actually. I was even in one of, I was even in a few of his lessons. 
I don't know what happened to him though. Let me check the DMs really fast, but I, I'm gonna do it on my phone. Oh my god, I am so dumb. You're right, Tech Zero. I could just do that. See, I was thinking that I, I actually did consider that at one point, but like I I I didn't even try. I was like, eh, that's probably not gonna work. And it's like, no, it, it works. I was like, wow. Okay, I'm a dumb. I, I'm so dumb. Okay. Yeah, you can just write if you can just right click someone's name in the classes chat and then just invite them to speak. I thought about doing that, but I never even. I was like, eh, it's probably not gonna work. And it works. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm from Texas. Must be this tall to moderate. Taller than Kevin Hart. Why does everyone gotta do Kevin Hart like that? Why do you have to do Kevin Hart like that? The poor guy just just he 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 can't help being so damn short. Come on, guys. It was a joke, sorry. Era broma. I know, I know. Don't worry, it was a joke, I know. But anyway. But yeah, um, nine. I, I'm from Texas, but I, I have almost no southern accent. Like, if I'm speaking really lazily, then I think the, the southern accent shows up a bit more, but... But, like, it, my accent is just very, very neutral. Extremely neutral. <clears throat> Yeah, the exact accent of my uncle. Pog! Let's see. The man had nine alcoholic drinks and passed out. No, I'm kidding. The man had nine alcoholic drinks. The man had nine alcoholic drinks. I know it's it's a bit of a morbid example, but <laughs> I mean we're here to have fun, aren't we? So anyway, a cat has nine lives. The police took eight. <laughs> you what, mate? You what? You what? You what? What? Believe it or not, that's actually a card game here in Nigeria. Like what? It's like Uno, but it with different with 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 some different rules. It, it, it has some different rules. But anyway, <sighs> um, let's see. Now let's go to ten. Ten. Ten, or ten in German. Ten. 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 Diez in Spanish. D in French, I believe. But anyway, ten. Ten. In Georgian. Ooh, Georgian. I see we got so we got someone who knows Georgian here. At least a little. Georgian. Hmm, nice. But anyway. Ten. Ten ten from Naruto. Who? I'm I'm sorry, I, because that character was so irrelevant to me that I completely forgot about her. But anyway. I just call her binary code girl because that's literally what because you know bin in binary code ten ten is ten so I call ten 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 binary code girl anyway I'm sorry <laughs> I'm sorry but if a character is if a character is irrelevant I'm just going to rip right into them ten ten selling weapons at the time of peace because she's a she's dumb she's just dumb. She's a waste of a character, honestly. But anyway, ten. Ben ten. Yes, I remember that show. I only watched like the earlier seasons, like when they started, when they grew up and became teenagers. I, I, I like that's when I stopped watching. Not because it was bad. The show was bad because I just lost interest. But anyway, ten. 
A lot of characters received more screen time than 1010. It's just sad. 10. She has 10 books in her bag. Dang, girl! You don't need that many! You don't need that many! Uh-uh, nah, nah, we ain't, we ain't doing that. She has 10 books in her bag. Shows in 2012 for kids are way better than shows for kids in 2022. That cannot be any more correct because It's true. Like, holy crap. TV nowadays is crap. It's just crap. <sighs> but, yeah, 10. Like, see, that's the thing. Like, writing in, in general nowadays is just really bad. Like, really, really bad. Like, almost anything could be a show nowadays. It's just really sad. <clears throat> Like the cringeworthy Powerpuff Girls reboot. We don't talk about that. We, we don't talk about it. But anyway. But anyway, when you have Netflix and YouTube and Hulu, do you need anything else? Like... <laughs> but anyway. Who's better, Sakura or Hinata? They both suck. But I prefer Hinata. Because at least... Because here's the thing, though. Sakura could have... She had a lot of potential, but the writer messed her up. Whereas Hinata, well, she never really was meant to be all that powerful, so I, I'm not really bothered by her. But, yeah. So, but that's 10. 10. <laughs> 10. Now let's do 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. Or as some people would pronounce it, 11. I say 11. Some people say 11. It doesn't really matter. 11. 11. 7 Eleven. 7 Eleven. Yeah, the convenience store. 11. 11. Eleven. Oh, I'm sorry, like, after we go to 20, that's when, uh, that's when things will start, that's when we'll start skipping ahead, not after 10, I'm sorry, because numbers, uh, 10 to 20 are kind of special, so anyway, what about 12? 12. 12. 12 12 12 12 Okay Now let's go on to 13 This is when we get into the teens 13 13 13 year olds are so annoying. Yeah, you just want to slap them. 13. 13. We're going much faster. Oh, I'm sorry. Like, see, the reason for this is that, like, I don't, I feel like I don't really need to provide an example for every single number. But that would just slow down the class a lot. So, I should probably, like, pause a bit to give you time to, like, put all these numbers up. Okay, you know what, actually, I'm, st I'm still trying to figure out how to do this. I don't know. It takes three minutes to finish each number. Dang! Yeah, let's just go, let's just go with the, uh, let's just go with the, uh, let's go in increments of 10. Let's just do like 20, 30, 40, whatever. Let's just, let's just go by 10. Skip by 10. Skip skip 10 like anyway okay
Yeah, exactly. Like, it's really no different from counting in any other language. Yeah, everyone here can count, you're right. At least I'm assuming everyone can, because there are some people that can't, and for various reasons. It could be a developmental issue, or it could just be due to illiteracy. But either way, um, almost everyone in the world can count. But let's go to 14. 14. 14. No, that's true. There are, yeah, rules in English counting work a bit differently in other languages. Like in German, for example, in German, um, you can't really, you can't say 26. You have to say, you literally have to say 6 and 20. 6 and 20. You can't say 26. You have to say 6 and 20. So, 26. And I'm just like, uh, that's so backwards. That is so backwards. I can't do that. <sighs> Why did I choose this topic? Because I wanted more classes for beginners. The same... Oh, it, it works the same way in Arabic? Huh. The more you know. Okay, we really should not be talking about stuff like that here. Try, Please, keep it out of the class. And I really don't want to be hearing about things like age of consent or anything like that. It's okay, don't worry. Yeah, let's just try to keep it, keep this, yeah, keep it PG-13, or PG preferably. <laughs> but yeah, like, no, no more than PG-13, please. If you have studied French numbers, then you'd love reversed numbers saying because you'd see how easy it is compared to the way French numbers go. Okay, well, maybe not so easy. Fair point. Okay, uh, okay, now let's go with 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. In German, but 15. Quince in Spanish. <clears throat> 15, 15, 15, 15. What's the next one? Oh my God, my mom's calling me. I'll be right back. not sure whether I should take over. Uh, <laughs> but, hello. Uh, well, I'm not a teacher, unfortunately. <laughs> but, I, I don't know, you can ask. Chai man? Chai man? Teacher? Just ask the teacher. <laughs> Steal his job, I'd rather not. <laughs> He's good what he does. Uh, I don't know. How many people here? 82, technically. 81, no. But yeah, I am the teacher for about a minute, so. Next number. Six, how do you pronounce 69? <laughs> um, if you have any words you want to hear how to pronounce, you can always just send them. I can tell you. I don't know. Hello, Princess Diane. Diana, sorry. God. I'm sure you do. 16. Oh, well done, Princess Diana. Very well. How do you pronounce I love you? <coughs> I 
a native asking me how to pronounce something. <laughs> Hello. Are you back now? Yes. Or... Yes, I am. How do you pronounce... That's not even how you... Okay. <laughs> right, I'll let you take over. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, he is. He is nice. Okay, uh, the next number is 16. 16. I think someone mentioned it earlier, but they misspelled it as 16. No, it's 16. 16. Different vowels. 16. 16. 16. Okay. 17. 17. 17. That's the next one. 17. Yeah, be careful. That's a good point. Thank you for bringing that up, actually. It's very easy to mix up. Uh, it's very easy to mix up numbers uh, six, like 16 and 60 because they sound very similar. So well, to prevent that, just make sure you pronounce the words f clearly and fully. 16, 60. 16, 60. Two different numbers. Yeah, 70, 70, or in, or, because I know some, for, in, like, some English accents would pronounce a T, like, not like a flat D, like, as, as what I'm doing. No, it's like, like what I'm doing. No, um, they would say 7T, but I, I don't pronounce a T like that in this case. I, I say 70, so. Or they can say it as 70, but well, that's a different topic. Yes, yeah, <laughs> 70. 70. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, but yeah, just be careful about that. Yeah, exactly. As Tech Zero just said, 1660. It's it's like the, the flap T in American English, it's like a D sound, not exactly though. It's not exactly like a D sound. It's it's like a D sound, but it's not exactly a D sound. It's similar to the Spanish R, if that makes sense. It's very similar to the Spanish R. Not the rolled R, obviously, the the, the R that like uh, comes after the beginning of a word. That anyway. Once I get to 20, we'll go over these numbers, and then numbers the numbers from 0 to 20, and then we'll uh, start skipping ahead. Like, I'll teach you how to uh, count uh, from 20 to, 21 to 100, or 101, really, because it's really, like, after 100, it's pretty easy. Okay, anyway. Wow, Flash. Flash will see us in a flash. But anyway, um... What was I... T oh yeah, right. 18 is the next number. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. And the number after that would be 19. 19. 19. Yes, that's correct. 18 is normally when you get declared an adult, at least here in the US. 18. 18. And in other places of the world as well, not just the US, but yeah, 18. 18.
and 19 19 so 18 then 19 and then we have 20 or as some people in America would say 20 20 I say both it depends I don't know I don't know why I switch between the two but but yeah 20 20 20 or 20 2020 like the year 2020 yeah 20 or 20 like there's a flat D in there but it's it but it's kind of hard to hear 20 or you could actually not even have that sound there you could just say 20 like just no the, no no sort of T sound whatsoever <laughs> Yeah, if you speak fast, it'll sound like 20. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. 20. 20. 20. <laughs> God, no. Imagine how hard that would be to pronounce consistently. 20. 20. No. <laughs> Tween teen. But, yeah, I'm 20 years old. Are you? Or is that just an example? I, I can't tell. Twenty people. <laughs> but, yeah, 20. Or 20. Okay, so. Let's go over all these numbers again. Oh, God. I'm just going to go with, like cover 0 to 10 really fast and I'll cover uh, 11 to 20 really fast. Okay. 0 0 1 1 2 2 3 3 Four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Let me just pin that. Actually, no, I'm not going to pin that right now. I'm just going to wait on that. Anyway. <clears throat> September 10th is my birthday. Pog. Oh, yeah. You can, yeah, you can count backwards, too. It's like 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Blast off! Yeah, or take off. I just say blast off. Ignition. My ear hurts. I am sorry. I am so sorry. I am very, 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 very sorry. I am sorry. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. No, no, I'm kidding. Anyway, um, let's see. Uh, ow, my ears. I am sorry to have hurt your ears. Okay, let's go on to the not the next two numbers. Oh, look, Scam Likely is trying to call me. Anyway, the singing did not help the ears. Which is sad because I just suck at it. I just suck at singing. I'm sorry. I just suck at it. 
And everyone's like, yeah, we know. And I'm like, shut up! You didn't have to agree with me! Shut up! Anyway. Okay, now let's go on to the next ones. Eleven. Eleven. Twelve. Twelve. If you mute me, then what would be the point of this lesson? <laughs> Fourteen. Fourteen. <laughs> Fifteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty. Okay, so going from 0 to 20, it would be 0, 1, 2, 3, oh, <coughs> voice crack, ouch, 3, 4, 5, <laughs> shut up, <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but okay, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. Someone said I had cool headphones earlier. I'm like, how, wait, how do you know what headphones I have, though? Because, like... Or is because like I, I don't I don't understand what they meant by that, but thank you anyway. Um. <clears throat> yeah, try not to have class when you're sick, so your voice doesn't crap out like mine. Anyway, um. So now let's go on to the big leagues, the big numbers. So at this point, to make the numbers larger, all you just have to do is add. You add the. So you put a hyphen, or whatever this mark is. You put that after the word 20, or 30, or whatever. And then you add, uh, and then you add a number like 1, 2, 3, or whatever. So, for example, 21 would be this. 21. Yeah, exactly. 21. 20 and 1. Ugh! That's so cringe. That's so cringe. Yeah, exactly. 69, for instance. 25. 33. That's how you would make... That's how you would count from this point on. So after 20, you'd say things like 21, 22, whatever. 35, 64. That's how you would count. But I know that in some languages, this would be slightly different. They'd probably have you say something like 20 and 1, 20 and 2. And because that's how it works in Spanish, actually. But in English, we don't, we don't, we, we just, we just go right to the next number. Okay, but anyway. So if that's 21, then 22 would be... 22 22 actually in Spanish it's mostly like this where you put like where you would have where you put the word and in the middle of the number but for for the for numbers 20 to 29 it's actually slightly different you actually just put in a it's still technically one word in Spanish. You just put in an I instead of uh, the word and, which would be Y, E. So it's like 22, 23, then something like, stuff like that. But after that point, that's when you start actually 
writing out the numbers entirely as separate words. But whatever. Anyway. But in English, again, we just skip that. We just say 21, 22, and then the next one would be 23. 23. 23. I won't disconnect, don't worry. <laughs> Yeah, I'm teaching them how to say the numbers and how to write the numbers. Twitter is a big mistake. Well, in some areas. Some people just shouldn't be on that website. But anyway. Um, the next one would be 24. So you have 21, 22, 23, 24 hours. Yeah, 24 hours in a day. How many hours are in a day? How many hours are in a day? 24. 24. I'm open 24 hours, seven days a week. Really? Hell no. But anyway. Um, 2,586,123, which would be written as this, for those of you who are curious. I mean, you could write it without the commas, but commas add so they add they 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 make the numbers so much more readable. How many breakups did you have? Twenty-four. Oh, wait, hold up. How did you even get to date twenty-four girls in the first place? Well, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 24 hour fitness. My brother uses that. I don't. But anyway. <laughs> Voice actor. I would love to be one. But 24 times 2. Yeah, 24 times 2 is 48. So 48 hours would be 2 days. 72 hours would be 3 days, and so on and so forth. Well, how many hours are in a week, huh? Huh? I already know the answer, but if you do simple math, it's not hard. Um, yeah, exactly, 168. But anyway. Anyway. Oh, you know what? Actually, the number 24 reminds you of this. You guys, if you guys will probably know what I'm talking about. Remember this one episode in SpongeBob, of SpongeBob where... Patrick joins Spongebob's boating class, and then they start joking about the, the numbers 24 and 25. <laughs> this reminds me of that. <laughs> What's your question? You have a question? Speak now or forever hold your tongue. But figuratively, not literally. That's gross. I, I don't... You shouldn't have saliva on your hands. But anyway. I'm sorry if every I'm sorry if every other comment I make is a non sequitur. I'm trying <laughs> I'm trying to make this class funny. Anyway. Why is 20, but the other one... I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why it's like that. That's just how our numbers work. That's that's just how language is. It, often, it, it just doesn't make any sense. Yeah, exactly. English is not consistent. If it were consistent, we wouldn't be having this problem. If you write big numbers, do they need a space? Or a hyphen and when? That's actually a good question. 
I think I think the general rule for writing out numbers instead of num- like the words writing out word numbers in words instead of just keeping them in numbered form or whatever. I think you have to. I think if they're three digit numbers or more, then you just write out the numbers themselves. You don't write out the words. But. But if. But if it but if like if you have a number that's less than one hundred, you don't write it out. You don't you just write out the word. And and if it's a number past twenty, then yes, you would use hyphens. So like twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, so on and so forth. But no, I can't numbers never need spaces though. Don't ever put spaces in numbers. Don't. Just don't. We use commas. Although in some languages you use dots instead of commas, I know that can be confusing. But, yeah. Like in Spanish, you actually use dots, and I'm just like, why? Why? What is this? Why are you using dots? What, what is this? But, yeah. Yeah, exactly. If English work consistent, we wouldn't have a lot of problems. Like with spelling. We use spaces in Dutch. Oh, the more you know. English without tenses can bring world peace. Oh no, I like our tenses. I like tenses. No, don't don't take out tenses. No. I mean that works for languages like Mandarin, but not for English. Like we need tenses. We need tenses. We need our tenses. Oh, he oh, he got his sights on you. He got his sights on you. He got those fox eyes. Target acquired. Anyway, um Should a number be written as a capital letter? Wait, what? No. No. Actually, in some... Well, no. See, like, in some systems, numbers ca letters can correspond to numbers. But... Um, that's just a, that's a very specific context, though. Like in hexadecimal, for example. F corresponds to the number 15. So, yeah. But... Um, that's, again, that's a, but then again, that's, I mean, it could be written as a, I guess it could be written as a capital letter too, but normally people just use lowercase, I think. I don't know. Anyway, um, but, yeah, uh, but yeah, like, j j n norm normally numbers are written as numbers. Okay. Did I cover 25 already? Well, let me cover it. 25. 25. You know what? Screw it. Let me just type all these out right now. Okay, hold up. Oh, by the way, tomorrow, I plan to have another class where we talk about shapes and colors. Yay, shapes and colors! Yay! Oh, how poggers! What poggers? That would that would have been a much stronger poggers, but I'm sick, so yes, you can still get a cold in 2022. It's not always COVID or the flu. Hey, that rhymes! <laughs> Okay, I'll I'll stop. Okay, let's see. This man did not just say poggers. It's, it seems like it's your first time in this class, right? Because <laughs> I say it all the time. <laughs> oh, I won't go to 30. Don't worry. But thank you, Magical, for telling me. I almost missed that, too. I said poggers. 
I love a good pug in the morning, whatever that means. It doesn't mean anything. I'm just being stupid. Anyway. But yes. Let's just go ahead and do this. So we have 20, 20, 21, 21, 22, 22, 23, 23. I'll stop sounding like Mario now. 24, 24, 25, 25. I'm just gonna pronounce it the way I normally do. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't. Put, I don't like pronouncing twenty with the T in it. I, I just don't. Twenty six, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty eight, twenty nine, twenty nine. Laughs in British, right? It's like, God, you yank. <laughs> no, but anyway. Can you sound like Peter Griffin instead? I don't know if I can do a good Peter Griffin voice. Although I did watch this one playthrough of Super Mario RPG where they got a bunch of people who actually sounded almost exactly like the Family Guy characters and I was like, oh my God, this is so awesome. So I recommend watching that. But I, I can't do a Peter Griffin voice. Oh yeah, there are negative numbers too, but you, I mean you don't need to know those. Like, like you just put a ne you just put the word negative in front of the number, like negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, and you just put a, like a minus sign, which also looks like a hyphen, but whatever. A minus sign and then the number. So like, minus one, as in negative one. <clears throat> Although minus one is technically different, it means something different than negative one, but... Actually, I think some people actually do treat those the same in certain contexts. I don't know. But, but anyway, yeah, negative. Negative. Negative one. Negative two and three, four, so on and so forth. It's it's really no different from positive numbers. And uh, and you you could also say positive one as well, but that's only if you're dealing with negative numbers. You wouldn't just normally say I have positive one friends. Uh, uh, po I have like positive one friend. Uh, okay, why are you telling me that? What's the positive for? No, just say I have one friend. God, no. <laughs> I have positive three TVs. Just say you have three TVs. <laughs> of course, nobody would ever actually say that. I can't name a single person who would ever say, I have positive three TVs. Because that would be stupid. But it's a human race. Uh, their potential for stupidity knows no bounds. That's not an understatement. Anyway. Um... Yeah, exactly. It's superfluous. Excuse me, but are you trying to count my bank account? Number one, two, three. <laughs> oh, I mean negative one, negative two, negative three. <laughs> Dang. That was actually my bank account at one point. Because it kept charging me. I won't, like, because, like, Chase kept charging me a service fee every month. So I was like, I'ma just yeet myself out of this bank. Bye. So, anyway. <laughs> I po I'm positive for COVID. I'm like, oof. Big, big oof. No joke, they're actually, I've seen a few people online misinterpret positive test results. So when somebody says, oh, wow, I'm positive for COVID. This is good news! I'm like, no, no it's not, fam. No, it's not. You don't know what the word positive means in this context, clearly. It's like... <laughs> it's like, who's gonna tell him? Who's going to tell him? Who's going to tell him? <laughs> but, anyway. What happened with Alan G? I don't know, honestly. I don't know what happened to Alan G, to Maggie, to Demonade. I don't know what happened to any of them. To Dino. 
like I, and there are others I think I can't remember what their names were though Typos happen, <laughs> right? <clears throat> Hashtag typo problems. Uh, negative zero, positive zero. Oh my god. Uh, I'm screaming on the inside. Okay, uh, what was I? All right. So, I guess we should go to 30. I'm not even going to cover all the numbers for 30 because I'm pretty sure you guys can do those yourself. Instead, actually, I'm going to have you guys do it. So, count from 30 to 39 in the chat. Take a guess. Well, let me write out 30 first. So, this is 30. So, can you come up with... Can you write down the rest of the numbers from 30 to 39? 31 to 39? So, if 30 is 30, then... Can you count? Can you count from 31 to 39? I'll give you an internet cookie. There are 30 families waiting. Ooh, oof. Good luck with that, fam. There are 30 families waiting for food. Well, they're, they're going to be hungry then because I'm not doing that. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah, so we have 31, exactly, 32, keep it going, keep it going, 33, make sure you put the hyphens in there, 34, Thirty-five, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-seven, thirty-eight. 37, 36, 37, 38, no, I'm kidding, 38, 38, 39, 39, <laughs> I'm sorry, Squidward OP, I had to, yeah, 39. And then we have 40. 40, the dreaded age, the dreaded number that nobody wants to ever cross. 40. 40. 40. Yes. So, can you count from 41 to 49? Can you guys do it? Oh, pueden hacerlo? Can you do it? Can you do it? Podéis hacerlo? Is my chat stuck again? I hope not. It probably is. Hold up. Is my chat stuck? I think it's stuck. Hang on. Yeah, it's stuck. Oh my god. And my internet's out. Okay. Okay, let me just pause the recording.
When will my reflection show who I am inside? Oh, <clears throat> sorry. Anyway, <clears throat> so. Sorry, I was reminded of the awful Malone 2020 film. <laughs> not not the classic animated film. But anyway, <laughs> I love this. I love this lip sync battle. <laughs> you should really be a singer. Oh, thank you. No joke, I've been told that I sound like Michael Jackson. <laughs> I mean, makes sense. I mean, we do have... I do have a similar voice type to him, to his. But, anyway, what number are we at? I don't even remember. Oh, wait, 39, I think. No, 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 we didn't even cover 30. Did we cover 30, the 30s? Did we cover the 30s? Yeah, we did. Now we're going to do the 40s. Okay, count from 40 to... 41 to... 49. And then I'll just, and then after this, I'll just like skip right ahead to 100. I'll, well, I'll cover 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, you know, I'll cover those, but let's do, let's do, no, no, we are, we were not at 68. We were not at 68. Nah, I'm kidding. Well, actually we weren't, but yeah. 64, 64, 64, Zoo Lane. I never watched that show. I know about it though. America's a nation that can be defined in a single word. Guns. Anyway. You should watch How I Met Your Mother. I can never really get into that show. I just I just don't care about it. <laughs> UK English is better for me. That sentence. You skipped a number. A very crucial number. A bottle of water. A bottle of water. A bottle of water. A bottle of water. Because screw consonants. Okay, anyway, let's see, uh, let's see, so we got glottal stoppers. No, you don't need to raise your hands or your glass. So raise your glass if you are wrong in all the right ways. I love that song. Anyway. Let's see. Let's see. We were on, let's see, 40. So that goes to, yeah. So 41. 42 and I'm lazy so I'll let you guys do the rest up to 49 <laughs> 40 40 40 Fiat C No wait that's 14 I'm stupid <laughs> Fiat C I'm sorry <laughs> oh, so, oh that's embarrassing Yeah anyway but yeah, that, that would be 40 in Deutsch. Ich liebe Deutsch. When are we getting to septillion? When I want! Deal with it! No, but anyway. What about octillion? And we'll get to that later. So we got a million, a billion, a trillion, a quadrillion, a quintillion, a sextillion, a septillion, a <laughs> and so on and so forth. <laughs> sextillion. Yeah. Yeah. Don't. <laughs> yeah, it has that word in it. I know. I know. It does. I know. It does. But that's, that's just how it is. I am immature. We all are on the inside.
I'm missing the S? Oh no! Okay. Alright, so... Let's see, 40, 41... Let me just write this out. 41... 42... Forty-three! Forty-four! I gotta make sure I put oomph in, in every single one of these numbers. Forty-five! Forty-six! Forty-seven! Forty-eight! Forty nine, and then yeah, C -c combo breaker. Next time, copy paste. I still have to write out the the numbers themselves, though. Like I still have to write them out. Forty, the average score in Calc one. Oof, damn! I felt that. I felt that. Granted, I I got a B in calculus one, but. Yeah, I felt that. Ouch. Damn! Can you speak like Russian? Or Indian? No. No, I'd love to, but no. 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 No, I can't. But... Okay, so now we got to... A oh, Google is... Well, it's technically pronounced... It's, it's technically spelled Google, like three O's, but... A Google is... I forgot what a Google is. I think it's 10 to the 100 power? I'm trying to remember. Is that what it is? Yeah. A Google. Not Google, like the company, no. Google, as in Google. A Google. A Google of Googles? Or a Google of Googles? A Google of... A Google of Google companies? Or a Google company of, made of Googles? Who knows? Googles upon Googles upon Googles. Yeah, but yeah, a Google is like 10 to the 100 power. It's it's stupid, <laughs> but yeah, but yeah. Now let's now we go on to now. I'm just gonna skip ahead because I'm lazy, so we don't really have time for this. Ain't nobody got time for that, as the old saying goes. Oh my God! Exponents upon exponents, ten to the one hundred power 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 to the one hundredth power. Stop. Yeah, because if I if I don't stop, I'm going to break the calculator. Actually, I've already broken the calculator. My bad. Overflow. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ten times 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 ten. Oh, my God. Thank God for exponents. Okay, so for the next ones, and I'll let Magical, I'll give Magical time to provide these. Well, let me just, let me just do it one at a time, actually. So the next one is 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. Shut up, helper! Shut up! Just shut up! Halfway there. Yep. But yeah, 50. 50. 50 in Arabic means a very hot day. Wow, okay. Because in the next ones, I have like 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 emojis. I guess I'll be muted. Oh no! 
Oh nine! I know. What do we do? Oh no. Was machen wir? What 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 do we do? What do we do? What 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 do we do? Que 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 hacemos? What do we do? What do we do? I'll do six yes, the last one the emojis. Okay, that works. That works. We can do that. We can do that. Is German taught in Texas? For the most part, no. There is a dialect called Texas German, but I don't know it because I don't live in an area that speaks it. I live in Texas, but I don't live in an area that speaks Texas German. I, w I would have loved to learn that, though, because I like German, and it would have been nice to, like, it would have been nice to have to live in an area where it's spoke where Texas German is spoken. Although it's quite different from standard German like in a number of ways. But yeah. For the most part, Texas German isn't really a thing. It could have been a much bigger thing than it is now, but you know, with the whole thing about World War Two, yeah, that would explain why Texas German is not exactly widespread. But if it hadn't been for World War II, it, Texas German would have very much been a thing nowadays. How many languages do I know? I know Spanish up to a B2 level. Although I honestly could have been like C2 level, but I've been taking so many breaks with it. Um, I'm A1 in German. And I do have a heritage language, but I don't speak it, nor do I understand it. But I can recognize when it's being spoken. Um, uh, but I know only the very basics of that language. So, but honestly, I'm really, I really wouldn't be much better than somebody who, who would, who, who uh, wants to learn the language from scratch. I mean, I might have a slightly easier time with the pronunciation, but that's really it. Anyway, do I speak Navajo? No, but I would love to learn it. I mean, so a lot of people say, oh, it looks so hard, and I'm like, yeah, but that, but like, but like, um, I don't care. I, I don't really care if a language is, seems to be hard. I'm going to learn it anyway. Like, if I like the language enough, I'm going to learn it. I don't care if it seems hard, because at the end of the day, it's, that's pretty subjective. And even if it, and even if it is difficult, that doesn't mean I'm not going to learn it. Yeah, it might be, and plus, like, different doesn't necessarily mean hard. Just because a language is different doesn't necessarily mean that's hard. Finnish is actually very different from English gra gra in terms of grammar, but that doesn't mean that it's hard. Certainly harder than what people are used to, like, say, languages like Spanish or German or whatever, but that doesn't mean that it's going to be very hard. But anyway... Uh, yeah, I'm from the U.S. Teach us your language learning methods. Uh, I'll do it at the end of class. Uh, at the end of class. Uh, but anyway. Let's see. Texas German is like Chinese English. I, I never heard Chinese English spoken before, so I wouldn't know. But anyway. um, Let's go to 60. 60! 60! 60 or 60 as some people would say nine you and that number stop it with that number Yeah, like the big the biggest the, the most efficient strategy to learning any language is To simply just immerse yourself in it and try to avoid using your target lang your native language Sorry as much as possible like, use your target language as much as possible. Like, try to use only that. Do everything in English. Even using your phone in English. Whatever. Watch books. I, I said watch books. I was about to say watch books and read movies. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I need sleep. Read books. Watch movies. Uh, like, use your phone in English. Whatever. Everything needs to be in English. That's the only way to get good at learning the language. Yeah, I hate when, like, you know that, you know when you accidentally switch words in the language, in, in your language, like, 
So you say like you, you just miss you just transpose words by accident. Yeah, I hate when that happens. <laughs> but anyway. Having been in the US for a month, I started forgetting words in my native language. That's so What the heck? What the heck? I really wanted to do 60 emojis, right? <laughs> oh shit, okay. My internet is crap, but anyway, uh, sorry about that. 60 emojis, <laughs> there are 60 beds in here. English is probably one of the hardest languages in terms of orthography, and by orthography I mean spelling and pronunciation. Like, no joke. Like, it's just, our, our language is just really hard in that category. Because you don't write as you pronounce. You don't. In French it's similar, but in French, like, pronunciation rules are more consistent. Whereas in English there's just not really a lot of consistency. But you have languages like Finnish and Spanish where orthography is just really, really easy. Like, so easy. So, yeah. And, and when it comes to orthography, English is pretty damn hard. That's not to say that English is the hardest language overall. But when it comes to orthography, it's one of the hardest languages, I'd say. But, when, but if it comes to things like morphology... Like, you know, like, you know, uh, conjugations and the clensions, then English is really easy. Like, not, it's a joke. Compared to language like Finnish, where there's a lot of inflection, a lot of conjugations and the clensions. The same could be said for German as well. But anyway. Yeah, prepositions are pretty damn annoying in English because there are 150 of them. So if you're used to a language with cases, like say Hungarian, then, and you try to go over to English, well, uh, yeah. Of course, it, it works the other way around too. Like if you're used to prepositions and then you have to learn a language with cases, that's a problem too. But really, they're two sides of the same coin. Gata isn't really strictly AVE. That's that that's that's something you'll hear in pretty much any dialect. Um, but anyway, Nick Knack, two silent case, pretty much. Oh, sorry. Let me just go ahead and say the rest. So, okay. Oh wait, sorry. No. Let me go to number seventy. Seventy. 70 70 or 70 70 so we talked about 50 we talked about 60 now let's go to 70 70 71 72 so on and so forth you guys can count from that point on 70 imagine that there are 70 pencils because the bot will mute me if I put them basically Seventy. Oh, that reminds me. Someone asked uh, a question earlier. When, I, when am I going to have uh, more ad advanced classes or intermediate classes? I don't know because I think I might have run out of topics. Unless you guys have more topics I haven't covered. Because I actually wouldn't mind getting back into teaching grammar. But I want. I didn't want to like neglect my beginner students and my intermediate students. Although my intermediate students sometimes join the advanced classes, so it's not a big deal. But, yeah. But, yeah, like... 
Anyway, uh, let's see. Yeah, my bro literally has 70 pencils in the same color because he's OCD like that. Anyway, fractions. Oh, fractions. I should talk about fractions, shouldn't I? As well as mixed numbers and decimals. Might as well make this a math class because I'm good at math. <laughs> no, but anyway, I'll I'll cover those complex numbers. Uh uh, we are not getting into that. Uh 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 no no. Yeah, A A V E isn't broken. It's just a different dialect. It's no different from. What Rastafarian English, Rastafarian English, whatever the the one they this when they speak in the Caribbean, whatever I Caribbean, I don't know how to pronounce that word. I'm sorry, but yeah, like there are, there are many dialects of English. Many, there isn't a single right one. There's a standard way to speak, obviously, but there isn't a single right dialect. So just because it's non-standard doesn't mean it's wrong. If that makes sense. Like, there isn't a single right way to speak, but there's a standard way to speak. And non-standard doesn't mean wrong. So, but anyway. But yeah, A-A-V-E, African American Vernacular English, that's the term. That's, that's, a, that's just a different dialect with its own grammatical rules. People also, some people also call it Ebonics, but I prefer that you not do that because to some, that can be seen as insulting. So, yeah, just call it AAVE. Anyway, let's go to 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80. Either pronunciation is fine. But if you're an American, if you want to speak American English, like me, you got you to gotta do that flat T. You got to do that. 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 American English is the most spoken dialect of English in the world because we're the best! No, I'm kidding. A lot of people would argue otherwise, but slay, right? <laughs> but no, I actually, I actually, I do like our, I do like my dialect, but I also like British English. I just love how it sounds. It's just so, it's just so refined. I love it. It's just, it just sounds so clean and elegant. I know that might sound stereotypical, but I really do think it sounds good. And then there's Cockney English, and I'm just like, nope! But anyway, no, I'm kidding. But I, I don't bother with that. I don't mess with that mess. I don't mess with that. Uh-uh. <laughs> I was like, no. I mean, Cockney English is really a subset of British English, but because, you know, there are many British English accents, but I'm, 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 I'm speaking generally here. Anyway. Um... Now we're going to go to 90. 90! 90! 90! 90! Or 90. 90. 90. 90. You missed 69. Noch! Noch! 9D. 90! 90! 90! In French, you do math for 80. It is... Is that how you pronounce it? I, I, I'm sorry. French, I'm still getting the hang of reading French. Like, I, I'm, I still haven't completely gotten it down. But anyway. Ninety.
Okay, uh... <laughs> Let me check my DMs on my phone really quickly. Okay, yeah, 90. Yeah, I wanted to give Magical a chance to catch up. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. That is the number 90. 90! Or 90. Neutzig in Deutsch. In Deutsch. Uh, I, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Deutsch. Probably not. I don't know. Anyway. I think that's how it's pronounced. I don't know. German has some weird consonant clusters. I just... Sh oh. With the sh sound. Deutsch. Deutsch. Okay. Deutsch. 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 Oh, not a long sound. Okay, Deutsch. Like, Deutsch. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Ich danke dich. Dear. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Oh, no. I meant dear. Ich danke dir. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm rusty. Ah, that's embarrassing. Ah. OMG. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. See, that's that's. I, I'm sorry. I'm out of practice. I am so out of practice. I meant dir, but I said dir. What was I thinking? I meant. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. Ew, that sounds so bad. Uh Danke dir. You could just. You could actually even just say danke dir. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Donkey, right? That's, that's what I think of. Like, no joke. Whenever I think of the word donkey, I think of Shrek saying saying donkey. Donkey, donkey. <laughs> but anyway, and now let's go to the big number. Ooh, the big number. The big number. One hundred. One hundred. So big. So chunky. So lemon scented. No, but anyway. One hundred. Or in Spanish, cien. I don't know what I don't I don't know what it is in I think in German it, I forgot what it is in German. I think it's hundred? I don't remember. Yeah, hundred. Okay, I was right. Okay. Proto Germanic. I, I don't touch that. I don't touch that. If I'm not gonna touch old English or old Norse, I'm or old German, I'm not gonna touch Proto Germanic. Sorry. <laughs> I must say, I want to learn Icelandic. I, like, it seems like such a cool language. I love how it sounds. 
the language of the Vikings. Well, really, that could be the same could be said for a lot of Germanic languages and Germanic languages in general. But Icelandic is just it's just the most it just sounds the most like. Well, I mean, it makes sense really because you know it, it's it it's like the first it's like the it's like it's it's very it's almost unchanged from Old Norse, so that makes sense why it looks, why it sounds the most like the language of the Vikings. But anyway. There's also fairies, but Icelandic interests me more. Anyway. But yeah, 100. Oh yeah. Yeah, in Spanish. Yeah, oh yeah, in Spanish. Okay, so in Spanish, like 100 by itself is 100. But if you want to add a number to it, like 101, I believe... Let me check really fast. I think you, you, what the hell? Oh, my bad. It's just a notification I got. Yeah, in Spanish you, I was right. Okay, so in Spanish, like if you add a number after cien, you have to change the word cien to ciento. So 101 would be ciento uno. But in English, you just say 100 and then 1. 101. 101. 102. 103. 104. Yeah, Icelandic is the closest to Old Norse. Yeah, indeed. There are changes, though. I know there are, there are, there are definitely differences here and there, but for the most part, like, if you know Icelandic, then you can read Old Norse. But because yeah, the Icelandic Icelanders are, have been pretty good about you know not ch have, about keeping their language pretty much unchanged, which in some ways is a benefit, but in other ways like it makes in other ways it kind of makes language learning harder for people.